Hello everybody. I'm Benoît Martier from OpenSight. We are specialized in uh, identity management. So um, I will talk today about something different than the other years. Uh, not from a technical point of view, but from a um, functional point of view. Because today, uh, more and more, we are asked about making a um, nice, and com nice and complex f uh, workflow how to uh, help people putting in place workflow for identity management uh, with some kind of delegation and some other stuff. So today, I will uh, talk about the Campus Condorcet. It's the new uh, scientific campus that will open at uh, Plan Saint-Denis uh, this year. And uh, in this work, we have done several um, workflows. So what is the Campus Condorcet? Uh, Campus Condorcet is a new place for um, human and social science. Uh, it will have nearly 20,000 people coming around. And it's a bit special because it's uh, people that coming from various universities, 13 for the start. Um, this creates some challenge because um, when you want to manage the identity of those people on your new campus, as they come from other university, you don't want to create uh, a new um, identity management with all the information. You want to be able to get the information from their university to create your identity management, but some part of it only. Then you have now the GDPR, and the GDPR say that the people own the data. Of course, the university already have the data, but if you want to transfer the data, from the university of origin to the new campus, hey, maybe you should ask them. Ah, I say maybe because if you ask five people, five people will have a different answer. But nevertheless, you have to take that in mind. And then uh, what's interesting, and it goes with what uh, Clement just talked about, it was uh, how can we use the standard of the French national education and how can we use uh, the federation system to be able to get this info about the user and ask the uh, university of origin if this user can connect or not. And then, of course, uh, as this is a campus for various people, and you don't know those people, you then need uh, some kind of invitation system and delegation system so people from the university can then invite people who are going to go to this campus. So, respecting the GDPR, uh, as I say, the user uh, own his data. Of course, the university has the data because the People work there, so they need to have some kind of data. But then when you go through the federation uh, and the data goes out of the university, the question is, uh, what should I do with this? Uh, should I ask again to the user, uh, please uh, accept that I give your data to the other entity? And of course, in GDPR, you need consent inform consent. So it's not only I will give you data, it's do you agree that I give the data to the other people? So there is a big part on consent. And in Campus Conversé, it was decided that uh, in the process, uh, the user uh, will get his data from his university or origin through the federation and then have a box to click, yes, I agree that my data should be transferred. So Nearly every all is done. So workflow, ah, that's an interesting point because more and more people are asking about workflow. Workflow of management for the uh, identity management space. And workflow, it's lots of things to lots of different people. Uh, most of the time people tell you, ah, my workflow, it works that way and mine works that way. So it's kind of difficult to make a basic workflow that works for everyone. But most of the time, um, workflow are already in place in the software. It's just that the people ask for something and they don't 
understand that it can be done much more simpler than what they want to do. So in this case, uh, you see, we have what they call referent. It's people inside the university that knows uh, which people should be invited to go to the campus. And then, of course, if you want people to join the campus, you have two ways of doing it. Making the referent do all the work means creating the account for the user. But in, in this case, we wanted the user to create the account. So the system sent invitations and then user go through the federation, connect with their ID from the university, their password, and then it's pre-fill, um, <coughs> sorry, it pre-fill a form and then they can send it or correct it. And after they have been invited, the referent can see in the interface of the software called Fusion Directory that does the identity management, if those people are already accepted or not. Should, and then people get a message, I'm accepted, I'm not accepted, and why? This is in French because I don't have one in English for now, but it shows you the system. First, you have uh, a reference that has been designed. The reference is doing the invitation. Then, uh, then the um, referent has done the invitation. The people get a mail, click on the link, get the form, fill the form, and then it's validated by the referent. And as soon as it's done, um, you have a unique link between the user at the campus and his identity in this university. So each time it connects to the campus, it goes through his, his uh, identity of origin through the federation, and then we can validate inside the campus that this person has got the habilitation to connect to this kind of software. This is just to show the, the data collected at uh, registration. As you can see, some are marked import. So all the imported are done through the federation. So the user doesn't have to fill those one. And then it can add some specific information. Uh, why we are doing that? It's because the, uh, in the federation system, uh, you can just say, I will only send this kind of information. And as you have 13 university, you have to have a basic way of send, getting back the information. So this is the minimum set that all the federation send back when you try to connect and the rest is filled by the user. So we can have a full information about this user. Uh, this is just for the technical guys. Uh, this is a, a, a picture showing the infrastructure we put in place. As you can see on the left, you have Fusion Directory is managing user, but it also has the invitation system, the registration system, the public form, and so on. And on the right, you have Le LG that doing the um, federation, support SIML2, connect to uh, federation, and, and so on and so on. What are the results of this? Um, the project has been completed last year, around December. Uh, it's open to the Renater Federation, so the French Education Federation. Um, it's already open to EDUGAIN, that's the future uh, European Federation for Scientific. Um, we don't store anything not needed at the campus. So everything like password and such as that never go through the system. Um, it's simplified because we just um, have a link to the user on the original federation, but we don't store anything we don't want to or don't need to. And then uh, in Fusion Directory, we have no uh, full uh, workflow of registration, invitation, and public form. Uh, that's quite nice because now in Fusion Directory, you can use our template system to make public forms. 
So no more coding, you just uh, define a template and then you have a public form. That's quite nice. So. Okay, and this is a small video that will show you better than me how it's doing.